Hi, Doug White from Model Car Muse. I usually have this carousel sitting on my bench. It's in the background on many of the videos. In the comments under one of our videos, Jeff from the UK asked where I got it. I actually made it a long time ago. I could have gone out and bought one, but I really like making things, I like model building, and I can make it exactly the way I want it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made it. This carousel is comprised of three layers three discs. You can probably go and buy pre-cut discs at your craft store, either of wood or foam. When I made this, I had a lot of scrap particle board on hand from other projects. I really like particle board because it doesn't warp, it's sturdy, it's very solid, and it cuts and drills really well. It just lends itself well to this project. I started with a sheet of three quarter inch particle board. I made a rig with a center post to attach to my bandsaw so I could cut perfect circles. Now that I have my circles, I can cut the holes. Using my grandfather's 1930s vintage Walker Turner drill press, I'm going to start drilling the holes. I'd like to have a half inch space between each hole. And I made an indicator out of aluminum, which I'm gonna fasten down. That's gonna help be our guide and indicate where the next hole is drilled. Mark it. For the next hole, I Move this, I line up the hole I just drilled with the indicator, and I'm ready to go. Step and repeat. One of the things I like the best about this is it just spins on ball bearings, and that's all in the base. Here's the underside of the one we're making. I have a ball bearing turntable. It's got these great ball bearings right down inside, which you can get on Amazon. I'm just gonna mark that out, screw it in place. Drilled some pilot holes. Good. Base is in, swivels nice. This surface would touch your bench, so you can either put some felt or a little bit of a rubber pad on it so it doesn't scratch your bench. And you're set to go. Next step, we're gonna glue it all together. With the post I use when I cut these into circles on the bandsaw and then on the drill press, I'm using that same post. I'm gonna run it up through. I'm gonna lay these guys on top, but I'm gonna put a little glue in there. Put on a thin layer of wood glue. Start stacking up these discs. A little more wood glue for the next layer. And instead of using clamps to hold it all together, I'm just gonna use the post. Hold it tight for the glue to dry. We'll let this dry, and then we'll put on some paint. All right, so the paint is dry. I've been starting to arrange all the little bits in here. This is like a great addition to any bench. And best of all, you know, you've made it yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. As a thank you for supporting our channel, you can see exclusive videos from my bench on our Patreon page. The link is in the description. Follow your muse wherever you may find it, and may there always be a project on your bench. Thanks for watching.